Hey guys, welcome so back to the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing my um, fancy team from Game Week 25 and uh, for Game Week 26. And um, yeah, Game Week 26 hasn't happened yet. I'm just saying there's a lot of double game weeks or, or double Game Week teams that are playing in um, Game Week 26. So here's my points for this week. I just want to say, I'm keeping Cornice every step away. Because look, he has two matches, two matches. He's definitely staying on my team. Okay, so we started off in goals. He got De Gea. And um, he got seven points against Brighton. And he got uh, three points against Southampton. So, he had a pretty good week. Ten points altogether. Into the defence. Robertson. He got seven points this week, keeping a clean sheet and playing both halves and got a bonus point. And then Connor Cody, who got about six points this week for a clean sheet and playing two halves. And Kukurala. I picked him for the double gate week this week. So yeah. So he played two minutes, or I mean two halves. 90 minutes, he got two points, and he kept the clean sheet. He, kept, he got one point for, um, I guess, for the night for getting um, two points for the game. And, uh, yeah. Goals could see he got a minus one. So then we got Maxwell Cornish, who's a player that I keep. I'm never going to let him go. Well, I might eventually but you know what I mean. you know what I mean so uh, this week yeah he only got two points so didn't have the best of weeks so and then we move on to Coutinho a very expensive player 7.3 million and last week he was the shine he was literally the biggest star um, so he got two assists and one goal, he's involved with every goal, you can say it like that. And then you got Galler, and he's, um, he had to play in game week 26, even if Crystal Palace have a double game week, he hasn't played, so, yeah. Well, he got me three points this week anyways, but I transferred him out. I'm not going to tell you too much about, um, game week 26, let's see. So then we got Jared Bowen, one of the best players in the Premier League, according to the points. He's really good, his price only goes up. This week he got 13 points, and the week before that he got 11. So he is definitely in form, he got 16 points he gave me 21, he is in form at all costs. So I actually recommend you have him on your team. But this week, or Game Week 26, I don't have him. See, so yeah, I used my hits, triple captain. So, I, or chip, I guess. And, um, I used it on Fernandez, because he had a double game week. And, uh, yeah, he got really good. He was really good, because against Southampton, he played. And, um, if he triple two, then that's six. And then, um... 10 times 3 is 30, so it's easy. Um, easily 36 points. You hear that? I've rain, I've poured rain outside. I mean, pouring. So, okay. So then we got in the strike force. No, Antonio. Hear that? The wind today is going off. Okay, sorry about that, but um, Antonio, one of the best strikers in the Premier League. I'm not saying he's better than Ronaldo and all him. 
I mean, when I say the best um, player from that, I mean the best player from either his position or like what points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he got 104 points altogether. He's got lots of bonus points, as you can see. Leicester, he got two points. And Waterford, he got two points. Or, I'm sorry, he only got two points for um, playing against Leicester because he only got one game this week. I had to work horse as my vice captain, but you obviously knew that Fernandez was going to be playing at least one of the matches. So, yeah. Man, you don't. You, you do. Like, I mean, you don't see the rain outside, but it is pouring. Wait there, but it's... Okay, work horse, two points, and then you can see the bench. I'm going to record a video of the rain outside. I mean, I, I am living in Ireland, so you don't see too much sunny weather, but still. It just... I swear, it was pouring out here. It's way worse than this. You can see the window all the way. Oh look at the trees blowing. Okay, that's the weather. Absolutely terrible. So yeah, that's basically it. So, um, bye. And I showed you my fancy team. Yeah, this, um, wait a minute, I'll cut back in a second. I'll show you Game Week, 20, Game Week 26's team. In 3, 2, 1, see you there. So, yeah, we get back from the terrible weather. So, oh, not transfers, pick team. Uh, you can tell me um, who to pick up my team or who not. I don't want Kelly on my team. Okay, I'm going to change the team around a little bit. But um, yeah, I'll do something about that. Wait, maybe if I do. Okay, I guess that'll work. I spend most of the time in the midfield. Because, literally, look at the midfield. I mean, the midfield is the best place, well, best place um, for points, I guess. It is. Anyways, so you see Nick Pope and goals, because last time he got a double game week, and you better watch out for him, but last time he got a double game week, let me just say this, he got 19 points, 19 points. I mean, if someone had him as triple captain, they'd be top i don't care what you say okay okay so you got pope and goals tyranny in the defense with kilman gabriel and kelly on the bench and then you got cornet rafinha osala human son saka and then the strike force you might be a little bit shocked but i actually um uh wait a second i actually picked kane Network problem. Okay, so I picked Kane on my team. You could just look at the rest of the team. Weghorst, really good player. Uh, I'll just end the video with a little bit quick. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, that's my team for this week. Or um, yeah, game twenty six. You should be picking the double game week. That doesn't mean you have to pick. Uh, pick um single. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't pick single players with like only single game weeks because you know like let's just say Jared Bowen or maybe Man United some players I've already picked a double game week so that's it for today I hope you liked the video like and subscribe for more videos